Facebook finds anti-Trump groups interfering in 2018-2020 elections. In a stunning move that is going to shock Democrats, and likely get no time on CNN and the mainstream media, Facebook has discovered and removed many accounts that were created to interfere in the 2018 midterm and 2020 presidential elections in favor of Democrat candidates. The move was announced Tuesday as Facebook caught the accounts, many of which supported pro-Democrat causes and were hostile to President Donald Trump. Among them were groups named Resistors, Black Elevation, and Mindful Being. This kind of behavior is not allowed on Facebook because we don't want people or organizations creating networks of accounts to mislead others about who they are, or what they're doing, the company said on its website. Facebook said that it caught and removed the 32 accounts, including one group that was scheduling a protest against President Trump in Washington, D.C. in August. It said that it suspended the accounts because they were involved in coordinated and authentic behavior. We are sharing what we know today given the connection between these bad actors and protests that are planned in Washington next week. We will update this post with more details when we have them, or if the facts we have change, Facebook said. The event, dubbed No Unite the Right To, was scheduled to take place August 10 to August 12 at Freedom Plaza. A banner on the page read Confront Plus Resist Fascism. There were 2,600 people that had expressed interest in attending the event and 600 that had confirmed they were going to attend. We're still in the very early stages of our investigation and don't have all the facts, including who may be behind this, it said. The accounts had more than 9,500 posts on the website and one that appeared on Instagram. The groups paid around $11,000 to advertise on both Facebook and Instagram. The ads were paid for in both the United States and Canadian dollars, which started in, in April 2017 and ended in June 2018. The Daily Mail reported that the groups also created 30 events, one of which had around 4,700 people interested in attending. Facebook has declined to name what those events were. It did not say if the event that had the 4,700 people attending happened. It's clear that whoever set up these accounts went to much greater lengths to obscure their true identities than the Russian-based Internet Research Agency, IRA, has in the past, it said. We believe this could be partly due to changes we've made over the last year to make this kind of abuse much harder. But security is not something that's ever done. We face determined, well-funded adversaries who will never give up and are constantly changing tactics. It's an arms race and we need to constantly improve too, Facebook said. It's why we're investing heavily in more people and better technology to prevent bad actors misusing Facebook, as well as working much more closely with law enforcement and other tech companies to better understand the threats we face. The news came at a tough time for Facebook, which is dealing with backlash over users trusting the website to keep their identities safe and backlash from conservatives who believe they are unfairly targeted. The company's stock prices have been destroyed, and a major portion of Mark Zuckerberg's personal fortune has been hit. Facebook saying that it did not know who, or what groups, were behind the effort is problematic for the Democratic Party and their friends in the mainstream media. Would the mainstream media be inclined to blame this on Russia too? If it does, then it destroys the narrative it has carefully crafted to accuse President Trump of colluding with the Russian government to secure 